We're meeting today with Prof. Robert Balfour, NWU DVC for Teaching and Learning, to find out a little bit more about the Haltasa and Conference 2023. Prof, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Angeline. Prof, well, it's time again for the Haltasa 2023 and Conference. Briefly tell us what can we look forward to? This is such an exciting opportunity for NWU. It brings together our partners in the regulatory space the CHE, the DHET, as well as peer institutions to refocus on critical issues concerning quality, the integration of technology, the post-COVID moment and the impact this has had on the success mm -hmm. and the diversity and transformation of our student body. Mm -hmm. Now, Prof, Haltasa has of course enjoyed a strategic partnership with the DHET, the CHE and USEF, and of course, such a program often includes topics that are quite critical. Could you briefly tell us what are some of the burning issues that will be discussed at this conference? So the unconference is a, is a means of rethinking and from a radical perspective what success in teaching and learning means in the post-COVID space. Uh -huh. How to bring together industry and our partners in higher education more closely. What are the affordances of a re revisioned uh -huh. uh, quality uh, framework? Yes. And what do micro-credentials potentially mean, not only for our students, but more importantly for lifelong learners in our sector? So here is a chance through the UnConference to rethink our traditional modalities in teaching and learning what do contact and distance mean? How are they enhanced by technology? And what could students potentially gain from the insights we've learned in the post-COVID environment? And what better way to do it than with our critical partners in the sector, the DHET and the CHE, both of which are concerned with quality in the sector and how we afford a better stewardship with an increasingly limited res resource base. Well, Prof, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to meeting you at the conference. Thank you so much, Angelina. I'm looking forward to it too. Thank you.